Hello, I'm Mr. Watkinson and I'm the Head of Design and Innovation. And if you're watching this video, you're probably considering a career or GCSE in design technology. And why not? A recent study demonstrated that the design industry has been growing steadily over the last 10 years. And actually, despite two recessions and a lockdown last year, the design industry grew by 17.7%. Currently, the design industry, which consists of product, graphic and fashion design, of which this GCSE is a foundation for all of those different qualifications, currently contributes £9 million per hour to the UK economy. And this year, there are at least 177,000 jobs in that industry. The UK is currently the largest design industry in Europe and is actually the second largest one in the world. So the United Kingdom really produces high quality design products and industry and there is a huge market out there for jobs and careers. If you go to Career Pilot, you can have a look at just some of the jobs but there are a broad vast amount of careers out there that this qualification can lead on to. Aside from jobs, there are many transferable skills that come from a design technology GCSE. So I'd like to talk to you about them now. Firstly, there's technical ability. This is the ability to use hand skills and use tools to repair or manufacture or create things also to understand how things work so that you can repair them in the future or you can have a better understanding of the world around you and that technical ability can be really useful in almost every job secondly and for me the most important transferable skill is problem solving many universities and employers really value people who can solve problems and especially if they can solve them in creative ways and new ways. So being able to problem solve is a huge transferable skill and it's something that we really focus on in the design technology GCSE. All jobs and all careers need you to be able to communicate and that's a real focus in design technology. You have to be able to communicate your ideas, to communicate your research and to communicate who your target audience are and what they need and want. So communication is a large part of this course as well. And last but by no means least is creativity. The ability to apply your imagination and the ability to think outside the box. These are crucial skills in the world that we live in today. So many transferable skills can be gained from this GCSE. Okay, so let's talk about the GCSE and what it involves. Well, in year 10, you will be learning a lot of the skills and you'll be refining those things that you've already learnt in year 7, 8 and 9. You'll be learning how to research, whether that's materials or audiences. You'll also be learning how to analyse that data in order to come up with a design brief. Once you've come up with a design brief, you will be learning how to come up with creative ideas that will involve sketching, drawing and modelling out of a multitude of materials. You will learn how to prototype and you'll be prototyping a range of different things, working models to aesthetic models. And you will then realise those models and ideas by learning manufacturing techniques and processes.
Here at Oldworth we have a range of equipment ranging from a wood turner, 3D printers, laser cutters, pillar drills and band faces to the traditional hand carpentry skills and many more vacuum formers and even pewter casters. So we are well equipped to help you realise your idea, to turn something from your imagination into a real product and that's what we'll be focusing on in year 10, working through the skills in a range of projects. When you get to year 11 you will be given a brief and the brief will be for you to interpret and you will independently go through the design process that you have learnt up until this point and it's impossible to give you an overview in a short video because everybody's journey is unique. No two people ever make the same product or do it the same way. Every single portfolio and folder is completely bespoke to the person doing it. And that's what's so exciting about the course is we just don't know what you're gonna do. And really, you can do anything. It's down to your imagination and your research and where your journey takes you to the outcome and the final product that you will end up making. That portfolio, the folder coursework and the product will account for 50% of your grade. And then at the end, you will also have an exam which will involve some mathematics and physics that are directly related to design technology and questions about design technology such as research questions or materials questions and that will be the other 50% of the course. So if you like the sound of a course that involves designing, researching, finding out about people and problems communicating ideas, being creative, and then using your hands to physically manufacture and prototype things, then we can't wait to see you next year.